Hey beauties, hope everyone's having a great day. Another beautiful day today here in Illinois. I'm finally feeling the spring slash summery vibe. I'm finally getting into it. As you can tell, I have on my bright lips and my bright uh, colors. Today. What kind of bright colors? I got on gray, but I got on turquoise and pink today. Um, the lipstick, the lip gloss that I'm wearing that I'm actually loving a lot is the Wet n Wild Mega um, Last Liquid Lip Color and this is in Back to Fuchsia and um, I hauled this in my last video I believe I think it was the last video and I love it I don't like the formula per se because it kind of goes on a little bit dry but um, and it dries really fast and doesn't feel like anything on your lip but I found a way to make it work for me. Basically, I just put a clear lip gloss over it after I put it on because it dries in like 30 seconds tops. It dries and it, like I said, if you don't have it on the right parts of your lips, it's like spaced out or whatever. But it looks really pretty though. And I like it a lot. Other than the um, formula. Some alarm going off. I think it's my husband's alarm. Anyway, this video is about a... Um, it's about how to apply lip liner, how I apply, uh, not lip liner, eyeliner. It's like I can't talk sometimes. I don't know where that comes from, but how to apply liquid eyeliner. This is how I apply it. And so I wanted to show you guys how I apply it. Maybe it could help some of you out if you don't know how to apply it. I have it already on this eye, so I just have to apply it to this eye now. And so um, I'm going to show you guys right now. How I, how I apply it. So this is um, L'Oreal Paris Liner in Carbon Black. And before I do that, I'm going to just shake it up a little bit because this dries. And I've used it already today. So. so it's really not that hard. I want to come closer for y'all and I don't have a mirror so I'm going to be looking into the camera to do this so I hope I don't mess it up but basically I just start in the inner eye and I take it all the way back to the end of my eye and I just follow the trace I just trace my eye basically some people start in the middle and they connect the dots if that's easier for you to do, you could do it that way, but I don't do it that way. I just uh, trace my eye. And I've never done this on camera before, so hopefully I get it right. I normally do it in a mirror, but hopefully I get it right. So I'm just going to, oops, I made a dot right there. And if you make a dot, I'll go back and correct it later. You can just, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this like this. Okay, let me go. I just press it on my eye like that and I just make a continuous line and I try to stay as close to my eyelid as possible because you don't want those spaces you don't want those spaces and you want to keep your eye closed too um, for a little bit so it doesn't print up there which you can see that it did because I accidentally hit that part of my eye but and you can make it as thick and as none and as thin as you want it And just trace it all the way to the back part of your eye. Like that. Okay, I messed up a little bit at this top part. So, if you mess up, you can just get a, um, you can just get like a line. Hold on one second.
you could just get like your foundation pad or brush or whatever I'm closing my eye because I want it to dry and just go over that part of it or whatever eyeshadow you had on top of it you can just take your eyeshadow brush which is this is the eyeshadow I had on top of it and just blend it out a little bit and it'll blend it back out it won't you will see you won't be able to see it that much see it's better now so let's see let's make sure and see it's straight it is pretty straight okay I'm going to look at my mirror right quick because I'm used to the clarity of my of my mirror it's a little bit higher than my other one So I'm just going to fill in the gaps on it because I'm used to my mirror. I got to get used to doing it um, on camera, doing it through the camera. But y'all can still see me doing it. I'm just kind of filling it, making sure I fill everything in. And the line is straight. Now, it's a little bit higher than my other one. So what I'm going to go ahead on to do is make my other one um as high as this one you may not be able to tell on your on seeing me but I can tell by looking in this mirror so there we go that's better Got one little spot to fill in right here. And then we'll do it. All right, and that's it. I just wanted to show you all how I do that. Just start like from the inner corners of your eye, and work your way to the outer part. Um, the wing eye, the wing liquid eyeliner. I can show you guys how to do too. If you want me to, thumbs this video up and I'll show you guys how, to do, how I do my wing eyeliner. I don't wear wing eyeliner every day, but depending on what look I'm going for, I do wear wing eyeliner. So I'll show you guys how to do that if you thumbs that up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know. You can do a video response. Let me know how you um, do your liquid eyeliner. If you wear liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner because you can use gel eyeliner on your top eyelid as well if you don't use liquid. So either one. Just let me know, and I will talk to you beauties later. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the love. Everybody who subscribed to me so far, I really, really, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.